Hi, this is Mark McPherson with another one of my blogs in the series, 52 Blogs in 52 Weeks, with each blog being about one of my 52 types of people who are poorly behaved and at times downright difficult. This week I'm talking about and writing about number 32, the swearer. The swearer is somebody who uses language and perhaps gestures which you find unacceptable, inappropriate, offensive and maybe even upsetting. So the swearer might use swear words, but then again they may not. They might uh, uh, use words which are racist, sexist, ageist, suburbist, any other sort of ist you like. They might be uh, misogynistic, for example. So the swear is just a, a convenient term that I use. It's an umbrella term and a convenient shorthand for somebody who uses all these uh, various, who uses one or more, uh, all these various uh, terms, phrases, that, that we find offensive. Now, when it comes to swearing, for example, let's be clear that what one person considers a swear word, someone else might not. I came from a, ha a home, just for me for example, where the word damn or darn was considered a swear word. It shocked me when I was about, <laughs> we went to someone else's home and people used language like that and it's sort of, uh, no one seemed to care. So uh, swear words, really depend on uh, your definition of them, uh, your culture, your home, your background, etc. And that also depends on the, the circumstances. I know some people who really are against swearing, but only if it's swearing to somebody or about somebody. So they're happy now just, for example, the F word, which many people find offensive, my parents most certainly would have, that some people uh, find it offensive but only if it's referred, if you're using the word when you're talking about somebody. It's okay to say the F weather, the F uh, uh, traffic jam, uh, whatever it happens to be, but not about a particular person. So it's not just swearing, it's what swear word is used, but also in what circumstances. Where, whereas a lot of the other uh, terms that we put under this heading of the swearer, uh, it's not so much about the circumstances. They're offensive no matter what. Anyway, there are ways of dealing with these people. If you find these words are offensive, I think you should, well, one of your options is, or I shouldn't say you should, but one of your options is to actually say to the person that when you said blah, 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 I found it uh, offensive, it's something that I don't like, or this workplace doesn't use, could you please not use it again? You have a right. And I have a technique for uh, helping you do that. It's a technique which helps you be assertive yet diplomatic and uh, tactful. But nonetheless, you do say to the person that the words are offensive, you're offended by that, please don't say them again. So, if you want to talk about the swearer or any other of these uh, 52 types I've got in their subtypes, please go to the contact page of my website, book yourself in for a call or contact me in, by email or whatever suits you, and let's have a talk about it. Anyway, whatever you're doing, keep yourself safe, look after your family and friends and your work colleagues. All the very best. See you later.